Hey guys, it's been a while since I've been on here. Uh, my reef tank has come quite a ways. I just wanted to come and give an update on what I've done. I did go and put in a sump. Got a nice sump system down here. It's an ETSS. Three chambers. Put in a Reef Octopus NWB 110. I've got it plumbed through, coming in, two drains coming in. One, they run from a T into one, down into a sock. Got a heater in the first chamber. Got the skimmer, of course. I ran tubing down through a couple holes I piloted down into the basement to suck in fresh, ox fresh oxygen because um, I was actually getting a lowered pH due to the circulation within the room. Center chamber, <clears throat> thinking about making a um, refugium out of that of some sort, maybe just throwing a little Cheeto and some other macroalgae in there. Just a sponge in the center for a bubble trap. Coming through, I've got a Mag 9, 9.5. <clears throat> and then in the return section, I have uh, my Fluval 306 running carbon that just runs through, comes in out of there, just refilters it, drops it back into the skimmer section. Coming up from the, to, from the return pump, I came up, ran a T. Top valve controls the output to the tank, to the display tank. Ran a T off. Have another valve controlling the excess flow from the Mag 9.5. Comes down, drops back into the tank. So in essence, I'm actually getting double filtrated water. I have the tank set up to actually have less flow going up to the tank and more circulation and flow through the, the um, sump itself. That was for the water to get crystal, crystal clear. This camera is horrible, but like I said, I got the heater in there, got unions and everything all set, just valves to control the drains. Valves to control the rate of flow back to the tank. Get a lot more um, skimmate coming from the skimmer by recirculating the water through. But then that comes up, feeds to the tank. <coughs> of course, I've still got the 46 gallon bow front. And I have the Odyssey T5 Quad Deluxe with the timer built in. I've got four ATI bulbs in it. Two blue, two blue plus, a purple plus, and a true actinic. I love it. It's got a nice purple tint with a blue hue to it. It's very, very nice. really pulls out the color and the rocks and all the coral. I'm overall pretty pleased with it. I've, I've tried a couple of different bulbs. I had a Coral Plus in there. I've had two Actinics. A bunch of different combinations to try to get it right. I have the PF300, I believe it is, on one side there. Which is rated at 350, I believe. Got it worked out pretty well to be fairly quiet. I built a, out of three quarter inch PVC. Built another overflow just to make up for the difference. There's a Coralia Evolution 1050 in there on one side. Got the other power head, the Coralia Nano. I've got about 75 pounds of live rock in there, which is all coming along very, very nice. I just had to redo all my rock work to get a butterfly out. Put the butterfly in there. I know I shouldn't have put it in, but I jumped the gun and really love the fish and whatever trial and ever with this whole thing still got the spray bar up there that works out nice gives tons of surface agitation 
so hopefully my ex oxygen exchange is going well. All my critters seem to be happy in there. Got mushrooms, a bunch of polyps around, and an anthelia in there. Leather corals, about twice the size of when I got them. There's a goby, yellow watchman down there, and his buddy. It's a tiger pistol. It's a pretty cool little symbiotic relationship that they have, but that pistol shrimp, oh, he can uh, he constantly digs, and it clouds up the tank, but it's worth it. You can see the head poking out my bicolor. That's Rupert. He's an awesome fish. I'd highly recommend him to anyone. A lot of fun. I had problems. I had to move my mushrooms around quite a bit. Because he wouldn't stop nipping at them. Yeah. They slightly cover any kind of hole and he goes batty on them. Of course my little clowns. Got a fire fish in there. My nice trumpet. Camera does it no justice, but it's nice and bright. It's beautiful. Mushrooms are spreading like crazy. I've got my start of a green star polyps there. And the zinnia, zoanthid, more mushrooms, and yellow star polyps, accordia. And that's about it. All in all, coming along fairly nice. Still haven't really gotten uh, too much coralline on the back. It's starting to grow. Problem is, I can't keep my hands out of the thing. I'm obsessed with it. I think if I could just leave the tank alone and let it do its thing, I'd be a lot better off. But anyway, it's coming along good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave. Thanks.